Welcome back. We have some uh, <clears throat> picks coming in. The Broncos on the clock for 52-57, but with uh, uh, 252, the uh, 251, uh, the uh, Steelers took Spencer Anderson, offensive tackle Maryland. With 252, the Bills took Alex Austin's uh, quarterback, Oregon State. 253, pick 253, the 49ers took Ronnie Bell, wide receiver in Michigan. Pick 254, the Giants took uh, Jared Vicious. Owens, uh, safety Houston with 255. The 49ers took Jalen Graham, linebacker Purdue. And with 256, the Packers took Grant uh, DuBose, wide receiver Charlotte. And Denver just took Alex Forsyth, uh, center Oregon. That's uh, Oregon. And and I think they needed that. I think they needed to take that. I think that was a good choice for them. And now with 258, the Bears are back on the clock. So we are at the next to last pick. The, the last pick before Mystery Relevant. So, uh, so uh, we are starting to come down the, the home stretch here. And uh, but we've had a lot of interesting picks and a lot of uh, great ups today with the picks. So uh, this has been one of those drafts where we've, anything can happen. And uh, some picks were good, some not so good. So uh, we shall see who the Bears will select with pick number uh, 258. Uh, the pick is in. I'm just waiting for it to come up on the screen. So this will be the last segment for day three of the NFL draft. So as we wind down and begin to wrap up uh, this year's NFL draft, we will. Uh, and from round one on, we really had a lot of interesting picks. And I felt the Houston Texans had a ton. I don't think with. For the Bears, this pick they're going to go with a running back. We'll see. We'll see who they take. But the Houston Texans have the bulk of the picks, and they got a lot of good ones. But the Browns, they they the first one was all was okay, but it wasn't a great one. But the left, the others were from ninety eight on was a was just a uh, well, they, they were some really good picks, except for trading the. I thought not tra trading that one to Baltimore. I don't know if that was good or not. I'm not so sure it was. So, uh, and so, uh, but I'm waiting for the Bears pick to come in. And, uh, and, uh, in round two, uh, Will Levis got thinking about the Titans in round two last night. He was so sad to get. Finally, get off the board. And here we go with the Bears selection. Uh, see, here's the Bears selection for pick number 258. Yeah, yeah I, I look at the productivity as well. We have some great, pro really good productivity in this draft. And the uh, Bears have taken with 58, Kendall Williamson, safety Stanford. That's a, and I really feel that's a good choice. So this was a good choice. I think they needed a safety to go with a safety with this pick. And he's from Stanford, which uh, he uh, put up some big numbers with Stanford. And the LA Rams have picked the final pick, 259, Mystery Relevant. We will find out in just a few moments who that who Mystery Relevant is in uh, this year's draft. So we are at the final pick, folks. So we are about to wrap up uh, the 2023 NFL draft. And after this final pick, it will be in the box, the NFL draft. So we are about to wrap it up, and I'm waiting for that. We're waiting for the mystery relevant pick, 259, for the Rams to come up on the 
Oh, screen, excuse me. Uh, they had it. And the fifth round, that's with Nick Hampton and also Warren McClendon, one from Atlanta State in Georgia. And, and they, they, they had a lot of good picks today. I really think we had some good parts of They traded up when they had to. And uh, they traded uh, and they uh, picked well, the ones they had when they needed to, the, the ones they wanted to. So I mean, we had a lot of good productivity, and, and they really did well. And for the Browns, though, I give the Browns a B plus for this draft. Yeah. A B plus or even a, even a C plus either way. That was a great for this draft. And uh, well, we're waiting for the Rams pick to come in on the screen for uh, Mr. Irrelevant. And somebody will be coming up to the microphone for that. And I think they're going to go with... They are going to go with an offensive linebacker. We'll see. Or safety either way. And we are about to find out right now who uh, the 2023 259 mystery relevant is right now. So let's listen in. Mr. Irrelevant organization to honor the last player selected. He felt he felt that it was irrelevant whether you were selected first or last, and it was honored to be drafted at all. And we still believe that. So we look forward to the bringing the next step. All right, I'm the dog. Yeah. We look forward to bringing the next Mr. Irrelevant up to Newport Beach, California, and settle again. And the final thing in the draft. And they picked Dijon Johnson, a defensive tackle from Toledo. That's who they picked. And uh, I think maybe they needed that. And I thought they were going to go with an offensive linebacker, but how wrong I was, and maybe this is going to work for their advantage, but he is. This year is Mr. Uh, Irrelevant. And uh, he is really uh, put up a lot of big numbers. He has 65 tackles, 60.5 TFLs, 5.5 sacks in, in 2022. Uh, and uh, So we now know is uh, who this year's mystery relevant is, and uh, and uh, and that means And that means that the 2023 NFL Draft is in the books, and I so enjoyed it bringing you, uh, bringing uh, you these picks. Uh, and uh, I, it was my pleasure. I enjoyed it, and. Uh, Browns did a, did, they had a pretty good draft. I'm not going to say it was a great draft, but it was great. And so that is just about going to wrap it up. We will recap the Browns draft picks on my next podcast. And, but until then, uh, I know I am going to be uh, taking a break tonight. And uh, so I'll see you in my next podcast to recap the Browns draft. And I, I hope you all enjoyed it. And so. Until then, always remember, be a team player each and every day, in every way possible. So long, everybody. Three, two, one. I'm done.